Yesterday was Mother's Day and the coronavirus pandemic has changed the way many people have celebrated, including our own governor, Andrew Cuomo. During a daily briefing, Cuomo's mom made an appearance. Matilda Cuomo was the former first lady of New York for 12 years. She appeared over video during the briefing, as well as Cuomo's two daughters, Maria and Kara. During the briefing, Cuomo teased about being his mother's favorite child, saying, I know I'm your favorite deep down inside, but you don't want to say it. He also went on to say how much he missed her and loves her. In other news, on Saturday, Syracuse experienced below normal temperatures with snow. Not surprising. But that didn't stop the hundreds of drivers hundreds of drivers lined up uh, to buy food at the State Fair Food Fest. Sausage sandwiches from Big Kahuna, fried dough from Villa Pizza Free, and sweet wine slushies from Ashley Lynn Winery were some of the many items sold at the fairgrounds. That's all for news. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My, my heart just says thank you, thank you, thank you.
Today we'll have a high of 48 and a low of 30 with clouds on and off the whole day. Tomorrow we'll have a high of 53 and a low of 30. It will be sunny all day. Thursday and Friday will bring rain with highs in the upper 60s, and Saturday has a high of 69 with a low of 55 with sun and clouds. This Sunday it will bring thunderstorms and a high of 73. Next week we'll be uh, looking at temperatures up into the upper 70s with su sun throughout the whole day. <laughs> I'm Amber with your weather. The Last Dance came out last month on the 19th. The documentary is based off of Michael Jordan's career with the Chicago Bulls. The show goes through Michael Jordan's most memorable and impressive moments throughout his career. Although the show talks about all of his best moments, it also talks about his worst moments as well, like the time he punched Steve Kerr in practice. The show only has four episodes out so far, and a fifth is on the way. I'm Isabel with your sports. Patriots owner Robert Kraft has put his Super Bowl 51 ring up for bid to benefit the All In Challenge, which aims to be the largest digital fundraiser in history by raising tens of millions of dollars to feed those in need. The winner will also receive a personal visit with Kraft in his Gillette Stadium office, with the team sending its private plane to bring to town the new owner of the ring if he or she is not within driving distance. Thanks, I'm Lena of Sports.